folks, I'm Garen Carl at Mosses Creek Outdoors. Um, rainy morning out here this morning, and I find myself near the town of Counts uh, here in uh, Hardin County. I'm not very far from the Hardin McNary County line. I'm just south of the town of Counts, actually. Uh, on Robert, I believe this is uh, uh, Roberts Road, and this is the uh, Roberts Cemetery. As you can see right here behind me, there's a uh, there's some old old markers back over here inside this fence, and there's another marker over here, and there's some there's a uh, three or four other markers back over here that's out of the fence, including this one right here. This one this one's out, and there's three more that's further back off next to the woods back over here. So uh, it's raining, but it's not raining. Uh, hard enough to keep me from walking around and, and looking at these markers. So I'm, I'm going to have a look at them here. Alright, there's one marker right there. Now there's three more back out there. One of them is a, I think John Jenkins. I'm going to have a look at here in a few minutes that I've heard a little bit of information about. Uh, There's some markers here inside this fence. As you can see, there is, there's five markers right there. And there's a Burks right here. And behind that Burks, but on this side of that big oak right in the corner, there's three more graves right there that's marked with just some little rocks. I'm going to go over and look at them here in a minute also. But first, before I read off anything here, I'm going to give you just an idea where this cemetery is. You can see it's right on the corner of an intersection here. I just out driving here this morning. I actually hadn't even finished morning coffee. Actually, I turned in right here. And I went on down this Roberts Road. I drove right past it and didn't even see it because I wasn't expecting to see it right on this corner. And my GPS did not take me straight to it. It took me to Roberts Road, but it didn't take me to Roberts Cemetery. So I'm gonna walk over here in the corner next to these woods over here and have a look at these and then we'll look at this one. I just walked by right here. Well, Prentice, I made it over here. I passed a little too close this morning and I decided to come by and have a look at it. Your great, great, great uncle, I believe you said he is, or was. He's in the Civil War, he was Confederate. John S. Jenkins. Eighteen thirty-eight, nineteen fourteen. I've been planning on coming by over here for the past while, and uh, I knew that I'd be by here. I just didn't know exactly when, but. Prentice Kyle had mentioned this to me and said something to me about it and told me about this cemetery. Of course, I was already kind of familiar with this area, but I'd never been to this little cemetery before. But again, it's amazing how small this little cemetery is right on this intersection up here on this corner. But next to him is Mary... Mary... Emmeline, I guess, wife of William C. Sawyers. 
October 25th, 1827 to February 21st, 1887. This is Willie, son of J.S. J.S. and A. Just A, I guess. J.S. and A. Jenkins. I guess that's that's a uh, John over here. I suppose. I guess. Eighteen, eighteen eighty. Six to eighteen ninety four. Yep, John S. Jenkins. Confederate in the Civil War. It's just hard to say a lot of times, but when I look around in a spot like this, I just always imagine that there's more people buried or there's more graves in a spot like this. It just, how the ground lays, it just kind of looks like it, you know, from many, many years ago. And of course, I don't know, could have been a number of different things, you know, if something ha could have happened to the old markers years ago or whatever. Somebody might have just marked on the little rocks, you know, back in the 1800s. And, and of course, you know, those rocks like that's been gone for, I don't know, who, who knows. Might have been gone, you know, 100 years or more ago. Just never know. But I just think about it, and I look at kind of a little wide open spot like this. You know, you got markers back over here next to the woods. And you got the actual, like, to say kind of little cemetery back up here. But you got this other spot that's in between out here. And you got kind of ups and downs and dimples and you know and you do it just it looks kind of like it would be kind of like right in across right in this area here it probably looks more level on the video than what it really is i see a two or three i see one two three four five i see five spots right there it looks kind of like graves to me it's a jt roberts Born March 29th, 1817, to November the 24th, 1865. Right there about the Civil War. And thankfully, somebody repaired the old marker a couple of times. Right on his date of birth and right above his name across there. May have put some rebar in there and rotted the inside of it or something to keep it standing. This is a uh, Hester Ann and Martha Burks. 1868 to 1961, 1885 to 1919. Here's the uh, other graves I was talking about. You can see there's one right here. You see this little, little rock right here. And there's one rock right there. And there's another one right there. And uh, I'll back up a little bit. Uh oh, I just found another one back here. All right there, those other rocks are up there, and right there, there's another one. And there's another one right there. So, who knows who they are? Some of the same bunch, I'm sure, probably. Yeah. <laughs> 
S.B. Burks. April 15th, 1842 to June the 5th, 1915. Sarah, wife of S.B. Burks, 1842 to 1901. This is, looks like Arthur, Arthur R. Burks, 18, 1883 to 1885. Infant child of S.B. Burks with no date Samuel Samuel Levi Burks eighteen seventy three to eighteen seventy seven. I wouldn't be surprised if ain't somebody else right on over past that. I would imagine there's there's more right here where you're looking. But I don't see any markers. I was seeing maybe if I would possibly step on a rock right along here going kind of in line with hopefully rocks would be right in here but I don't feel nothing there's a there's a little rock right there got H A B and there is another rock right there I didn't see a few minutes ago. It's like here, there's one rock, there's two, three, four. There's another one, or two more up there. And one right here. And you can just see again where the cemetery's at. Wind and rain is starting to set in a little bit harder. In which, to be honest with you, I like a time like it is right now even better for getting out looking at stuff than I do when it's hot. Especially when it comes as handy as this one. I was told about this by Prentice Cow. But anyway. finally got by here and had a look at it. Well, Prentice, I made it over here. Well, folks, uh, I appreciate y'all watching here from the uh, uh, Roberts Cemetery. Hardin County, Tennessee. Uh, 
I'm going to jump back in the vehicle with this rain getting harder and try and finish my morning coffee. So until next time, I encourage you to get out and enjoy the outdoors as much as you possibly can. I'm Garen Carlin, Mosses Creek Outdoors, and I'll see you next time.